Well, good morning. We're back in no place like home, and since last time, there have been a few changes to the farm. First and foremost, we finally finished the house, and here's Grandpa's room. So I have given him the Japanese set. He's got a nice, very nice bed. It does look very nice. And of course, all the accoutrement. He's got his desk and chair over here, some nice wall hanging, a living room section, even a place to sit and eat. That ah, looks really good. Of course, we've seen the bathroom. And of course, that's Ellen's room, which we have actually added a second bed to. Because, you know, she might have somebody come over and spend the night. And nothing new in here. No. Out here. And go over here. We have made two looms. And they make... Well, basically, yarn. So, we've been making some yarn. We've got a couple of solar chargers here to make batteries. And we'll take the batteries and turn them into recycled material. Because we're going to need a lot of it to continue building. Go ahead and grab that. We also have every upgrade. We have every upgrade for Ellen. We have every upgrade for the farm. Of course, some of them we have to do still, like um, upgrading the animal pens to max. We have the greenhouse. So we go in here. And we have a huge variety of flowers. We can't really do anything with them. They're just pretty, well, except for the sunflowers. You can pick the sunflowers and actually get the sunflower head and a bunch of seeds back to plant more sunflowers. I've not figured out a recipe for that yet. So I don't know if there is when we have a whole bunch of cranberries ready. Oh, we can put that away. Oh, maybe we can't. Hold on. We've been making all these fried eggs so we can use them to make more uh, preserved foods. Okay. See? <laughs> I was going to say, they're uh, sustainable because the chickens produce so many eggs that I go through them for the chicken or the animal feed. I go through them for the fried eggs to make the preserved food. It's just an easy way to use the eggs in general. Now, we are missing two recipes. I know at least one of them probably involves the olive oil, but I don't know what it is. So, I'm going to have to figure that out. Oh, and I wanted to grab something because I found something while I was out running around planting oak trees. And I don't know what's going to happen, but I do know that it required a lot of rubber. And I don't know exactly how much rubber, so I hope that's enough. There it is, a rubber ducky. Not enough. Ah, okay. Feed the duck. Oh, hi. Oh, look at this. Aren't you cute? So we fed it a bunch of uh, rubber and it turned into a giant rubber ducky. And now it swims around the lake. Okay, that, that, that was silly, but fun. <laughs> I 
And that was definitely some goofy fun. Now, we also found something else while we were out in the desert. And I have not figured this one out yet. <clears throat> so, is running around the desert, cleaning up, finishing up some of the quests. And I came across, where is it? This plushy statuette. And it just says it's a quest item. And it looks like it belongs to some kind of a shrine. So we have to figure this one out. What shrine does it belong to? Alright, so let's look around. I haven't seen anything that looks like it should be a shrine. I can't even remember where I found him at. It was somewhere in this area. Oh, I'm stuck. There we go. I also need to figure out how to get over there, which I have not. It looks like I should be able to climb up that stair and up those ladders to get up there, but so far I have failed. Come on, get up there. If she can get up here. I know because I've been up here. There we go. Okay, so this goes up and up. And we can't climb that, so we can't go any further this way. Yeah, there's got to be a way up there, because look at all the little ants. They're just waiting for us to come up there so they can bite us. But nothing that resembles any sort of an altar here. So, let's head back down. And this was one of the easier door puzzles because all the buttons were right in here. And you just had to be fast enough to click them all. That one was, like I said, pretty easy. Alright, so we've cleaned all this out. We got this poor little goat here, but we do not have space for him right now. I'm definitely going to have to, like I said, upgrade the cow shed so I can get the rest of the cows and goats. But as it stands, Ellen has done quite the job with the uh, farm and pretty much and that farm can sustain the whole community at this point. Oh, I'll take that. That's nothing. Nothing there. Can't go up that way. And I think that is just that little platform there. I tried going up for here. But it doesn't really go anywhere either. So we can't go up any further. Or can we? No, we can't. It's got an invisible wall here. All right. And so that's a bust. And here's the spot we were looking at from the other place. Ah, and I feel like an idiot. It was so easy to get up here. Mm. 
Where are you? Ah, oh, there you are. Oh, you stinker. Ha. Well, we got him. Because while he was busy trying to uh, electrocute me, he got me stuck in a... Water him. All right. I guess we continue going up. No, nope, nothing there. A couple of chests. Some flower seeds, some... A hat. But... Where is this mysterious... Altar? I'll be honest, I even tried looking this up and I couldn't find anything. So I was wondering if like the, uh... The rubber duck that we just fed, this is something new. Yeah, I don't see anything. I'm wondering if we're going to end up having to go back through old areas to find this. But I would think, since I found it in here, the altar would be somewhere in here too. Well, we have time, because I believe we've done everything else. We could go back through the rest of the desert and look. I haven't seen anything that looks like an altar, though. Hello, goats. Yes, I know y'all need a home. I will have to work on that slowly because I'm very much out of space and I'm out of recycled materials to make more space. Same for y'all. I will take care of the llamas and the and our little cute bot friends and all the other animals as I can. I'm seeing nothing that looks even remotely like an altar to put this chicken on. Nothing there. Nice little tugboat. Ha! There's a uh, bush up here. Of course, it says we can recycle that now. And I'm wondering, do we really want to recycle it or do we want to attempt to plant it somewhere? Another one of our llama friends, but no altar. And I did notice that uh, once we hit frozen peaks, there was no more underground. So, uh, yeah, nothing for the underground, for frozen peaks or the desert. I think these plants are kind of floating in the air. Oh, we're almost out of time. Hold on, hold on, let's get over to, what's her name? I was going to call her Jay, that's not Jay. 
Oh, our little Phoenix friends are very happy now. Wanted to go talk to the girl over here. Nice job on Phoenix, Ellen. They're much happier now, thanks to you. They're very lovely. That's not all, though. I need your help with the goats as well. I've seen a pack of them get stuck in dirt, but a little water will help them escape. Believe it or not, even though they don't really like it, they make excellent swimmers. And then you'll help me w get to my grandpa, will you? That will be almost everything. Almost. You promised you'd help me. And I hope you I will. I'd give you my boat right now. But what would you do with it? There's no passage to the city. See that dam? First you need to fix the mechanics that keep it locked. You can find some spare parts at the side. I'm sure you'll do just fine. You got this for, didn't you? And as soon as the water fills this area again, I'll give you my boat. You'll be able to use it to cross the water to get to Sunken City. And she just gave me a new quest. And of course, we've already helped the Fennec, so, and the goats. So we don't have to worry about that. But we do have to worry about getting Ellen to bed so we're gonna do that real quick so yeah this is the last quest here and we still have the veggie collector it seems like we're missing something of course I don't think I had the olives when I talked to her last so maybe that's it first off though where do we do this Oh, right over here. And I knew we had that. Quest complete. Fix the control and activate it. And she gives me a greenhouse. Really? Did she give me a free greenhouse? Well, I'm going to have to figure out where to put that at. I don't think Ellen's got any space on the farm for a second one. Alright. I still have to find this mysterious altar. I guess we're going to take a quick run back for the map. I don't see anything in this area. Unless I'm blind as a bat. And missed it. Good job. Life will grow back in this place soon enough. Congratulations, Ellen. You have Newland's blood in you. That one's a given. So, before I go, you promised to tell me the secret about his brother? I did, but first a small history lesson. Do you know why we made Mars our new home? It's a very simple question with a very simple answer. We needed a fresh start. We drowned in all that garbage we produced long before we invented how to process it efficiently. You know, just like you did on your way here using your back path. Your grandfather and his brother had vastly different ideas on how to clean it all up. Why didn't they come to Mars? Why didn't you all? Everyone has a different answer to this question, Ellen. But all in all, I think we were all stubborn. Some felt like all their life's worth of work would, would go to waste. Others couldn't stand the food and the idea of living animals being replaced by robots. And your grandfather? I think he felt guilty. He helped a lot in getting us out there, but he thought we shouldn't abandon the place we came from. As you know, most of our species disagreed with this opinion. So, why is my grandfather going to Sunken City? There were rumors that Nick was trying to rebuild a machine that led to the tragedy many, many years ago. Most didn't believe it, especially since nobody had heard from Nick since that incident. But your grandfather knew that we can't risk it. After Nick's robots yet again flooded the valley with trash, your granddad sold, said that it took the last straw, and he went on his journey to confront him. Thank you. I need to find him then and see if I can help. Yes, you're ready, Ellen. The boat I promised you is in the canal nearby. Go reunite with your grandpa. So she tells you everything you need to know. 
Now, we still need to figure out this mysterious plushy statuette. I'm, I'm still thinking it's going to be near where I found it, but I didn't see anything. Let's go to the village. Would you want to bet it's in the sunken city? Now that would, wouldn't surprise me in the least. But, I'm going to look around. Hello, cows and goats. Hello, babies. I feel like I'm rehashing old territory. Well, I guess technically I am. It's too bad that the there's no NPCs to give me a clue about this. And speaking of NPCs, I just realized I don't think... Wait. No, I did collect all the feathers. Or did I? No, that's under collectibles. No, I'm missing two feathers. Okay. Maybe Rudy will tell me. No. He knows nothing. So, our rubber duck was over here. Ah, oh. So you have to keep feeding it to make it giant so that it'll do its thing. Okay. Greedy little duck, isn't it? There's our fun little fennec foxes. Don't worry, I'll come back and pet y'all later. I see y'all have lots of seeds for me. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I don't... I have no clue where this is going to be. I'm pretty sure it's not going to be in the underground. Nothing there. Oh, this is going to drive me nuts. Considering I've been through the whole map before I found this. Speaking of map, let's map over to our friend Lily and see if the olives are what she needed to finish her collection. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay. Oh, I guess I don't have anything for her. Okay. Well, I was hoping. All right, so we're missing something for her. And we're missing two feathers for Jay. And we need to discover this chicken plushy mystery. Now, I head back to the farm, but like I said, I don't think I got place for this. This greenhouse. It's pretty crowded already. Oh, 
look around here, put away some seeds and other things. Yes, okay, watermelon seeds go over here. Everything has its place. I don't think I want to put it right there and block the entrance to the... I mean, granted, she can get around lots of other ways now, but I still don't want to block the entrance to the village. Where are we putting this thing? Maybe here? Probably, wait, maybe. Oh, go back, go back, go back, go back. Oh, I can't. There we go. And put it next to this house right here. And then you go in. And we'll need to set this one up with some sprinklers and some flowers. We can do that later. Okay, so we're back. And it looks like we do not have much time left. So, I did go back and run through the desert one more time. I still did not find anything that resembled an altar. I did discover the recipe for goat cheese bruschetta, though. So I did miss something there. And I discovered from looking at the quest that we missed a sighting of Cornelius somewhere in Frozen Peaks. So I will have to go back there and find him because I think I'm going to need that. But having said all that, stay tuned next week as we work towards the finale where we go look for our grandpa and our great uncle and fight whatever robot monstrosity he has created. And until then, bye for now.